Uh, so now we need to go ahead and start adding the detail to her dress. And at this point, I need to decide if I want to kind of go out of kind of sculpture kind of clay mode, which if I turn on Z-Add for my ZBrush here, I can go ahead for my standard brush. I can go ahead and like go on my standard brush here, go into stroke, lazy mouse, crank the lazy radius up, Z-Add is on, I'll crank the Z intensity up just a little bit. And I can go through here and just hold down Alt and I can, you know, dig these lines in like so, or I can mask these areas out here, kind of clean up the mask, invert and do it, and inflate, deformation inflate for you, and I can kind of get her blocked in in a clay-like way, uh, but I'm going to do this a little bit cleaner, so I'm already going to start jumping into a little bit of zero mesh to kind of make really, really nice, smooth, simple shapes just like I did with Finn. I kind of blocked him out with clay first, and then I decided to go back in, do some some slicing to get nice clean cuts and then uh, start building from there. So the good news is this dark part of the dress here is already kind of done. It just needs to be kind of a smooth bell shape. So I'm actually going to duplicate this dress off and keep her smooth bell shape as one piece and then on the duplicate go ahead and pop these off in a very clean way and then revise from there. So easy way to do that is to alt tap this body part over, over here, or just select it in your subtools. Hit duplicate, select that one, go into solo mode, so we're just looking at this one here, and everything above this little inserted point isn't really needed because this is gonna, this piece up here is gonna be controlled by a separate subtool. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda clean up this bell shape here. So I'm gonna hold down Control Shift, I'm gonna grab Trim Curve, and the difference between trim and clip is if I have trim here and I do a trim line, you see it's going to pull, you're going to think it's like the clip curve where it's going to pull all this geometry down. But what it actually does is slice and then fill hole. If I did clip, what it would do is just pull all this geo down to this line and then it's going to give me like this nasty kind of flat area here that I got to deal with and I can, you know, tr I can clip it from the sides. So it's, it's a pain. So just do trim curve and that'll do two operations. Like I said, it'll slice. It basically what it does is do a slice, isolate, and then fill hole all in one. Now, of course, it's not going to fill the hole symmetrically, so you can do a quick mirror and weld if you want to. Okay, so we've got our under part of the bell bell part of the dress here. I'm going to clean this one up. This one at the very bottom, I can do a trim, but it's also probably pretty safe to go ahead and just do a clip and make that straight across there. And if we go into polyframe mode here and turn off our poly paint, actually go back to solo mode, you're going to see it's pretty smooth, but I think we can do a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to kind of polish it as it is with a bunch of dynamesh triangle geometry, and then what I'm going to do is Z-remesh. So in order to polish this correctly, I'm going to take back what I said about the clipping on the bottom. I'm going to undo that. I want different poly groups for the top, and I'm going to turn off the paintbrush here and go into polyframe. I want a poly group here, and I want a poly group on the bottom because when I go to polish by features, I want it to use that feature, which is the poly group border, to kind of make a hard transition or a creased edge. And I don't have that here. Now, if I do Control Shift Clip Curve, and then I hit spacebar, you're going to see I have a poly group option. So I can turn that on and then clip curve, and it'll actually give me a poly group where it clipped. Um, alternatively, I could also do like I did at the top and just do a trim curve, and that'll actually slice, delete, and then fill, and that'll also give me a poly group. It's a little bit cleaner in this case, so I'm just going to use that. And then we'll do mirror and weld across the X axis, which for you will be geometry modified topology mirror and weld. And now it's pretty good, uh, but let's go ahead and go down here to deformations. And we will go to polish by features um, with close circle on. And again, it's using that poly group border as a feature. So it's gonna crease that line for me. And with close circle on, what it's gonna do is maintain your volume. So it's gonna kind of keep it puffed out. Um, if you had any, any severe sculpting, like this, it would try and maintain that as it was polishing. If I turn on open circle and do polish by features, it's going to really, really polish these surfaces and then also really polish these top parts here. So I'm going to undo that back to where we just had the bell dress and then do polish by features. If you take your mouse and do the open circle and just tap once, it'll just do very small increments of that polish by features. So you can kind of just do that or you can just crank it, just grab it and 
pull it to the right. And that'll give you a very, very polished um, look. Now it kind of got, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this. So here's our duplicate, here's our original. I'm gonna turn the eyeball off for that one. So you can see it kind of, as it was polishing, it kind of was averaging those vertices and making it a little bit smaller. But it is very, very smooth. So, and the fact that it's actually inside is okay because these are gonna bump out a little bit more, these little top pieces here. So it's actually okay.